All right, now we're going into the intro sales call. So this isn't gonna be a super long video just because you know, it's pretty self-explanatory and straightforward. So please note this works best if you're running ads for inbound leads. This can be applied if you're sending Loom or any outreach with a positive response. It's important that they reply back and are interested in your service. Now, this is really designed for, you know, if you are running lead form ads and a lead comes through, this is what you would say on the call. So let's run through this. Hey, is this John? Hey John, it's Cody from Agency Academy. I seen you submitted your details wanting to find out a bit more about our 10 booked appointments guaranteed offer and figured it was a good chance to chat and really just see if it's something that could help you. Do you have a couple of minutes? Do you notice how my tonality is relaxed, fun, vibrant, like it's not super formal, it's just casual and, and laid back? Cool, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions just to see if it's a good fit. Okay, and then you can go into the questions. For the organic outreach method, we can say pretty much the same thing. It would go something like this. Hey, is this John? Hey John, it's Cody from Agency Academy. I was the one that sent you that Loom video just in regards to the 10 booked appointments strategy and thought it was a good chance to connect. Do you have a couple of minutes to chat? Cool. If it's okay, I'd love to ask you a couple of questions about your business and really just see if it's something that could actually help you. I wouldn't want to waste either of ours time. And then you just jump straight into it. With these qualifying questions, it's important that we try to probe and we get deeper answers rather than surface level. So what I mean is this. How are you currently getting your clients and customers? Oh, I'm using paid ads. You know, that's very one word answer. You want them to elaborate. Okay, cool. Can you tell me more about that? How's that working for you? Oh yeah, you know, it's it's hit and miss. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's really not. Yeah, I totally understand that, John. A lot of customers, a lot of clients of ours say the exact same thing. So how many clients are you working with at the moment on a monthly basis? Oh, I'm probably working about with about, you know, seven to, to nine. Okay, cool. And how many more would you want to be taking on? Like, how many more could you take on? Oh, I could probably take on, you know, another 10 or 15. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you can you can fit quite a few more in, which is great. And I guess what, what prompted you to submit your details? You know, the, this is more of a question if you're running paid ads, and this is super important. Like, what made you book a call? You know, it's like what I ask... Uh, every one of you guys who booked a call for Agency Academy, like what made you schedule a call? You know, how long have you been following me for? These are questions that you need to know the answers to, right? And even if you're doing it organically, you can say, what got you interested in what, in what we do? Then you can go on to like, what are your goals for the business in the next six to 12 months? Tell me more about that. Why is that? Like, you know, if you were to achieve that, like, what would that mean for you in the business? Like, what would you like to be doing? Do you want to buy a Lamborghini, Ferrari? Do you want to go on a holiday? Like, do you want to retire? Like, what do you want? Like, why do you want this? And then you can ask them, what do you think is standing in their way of achieving it? Right? And they'll go through it. They'll go through it with you. If they don't open up, ask why. Start probing because it is okay to probe. This is just really important. You want to keep it nice, short, sharp, and straight to the point. Cool, John. I appreciate you answering those questions. From what you've said, I believe we can help you. So what I'd like to do is actually schedule a meeting so I can walk you through how it works and answer any questions that you might have. How's that sound? Yeah, sounds good. Awesome. Does Tuesday at 10 work for you? It's important you assume the time and day because you want to set this meeting on this call. You want to pick a date and you don't want to be like, oh, so when works for you? Because then that opens them up to being like, oh, I've got to go away and check my calendar or, you know, I need to talk to my secretary, Mary. You don't want that. Assume the close. And by close, I don't mean the deal. I mean the second call. I mean the actual sales call itself. Assume the close. It's really, really important. Now, if they do have some time, and you can ask them this, you know, do you have 15, 20 minutes now to go through it? If they do, get them on the demo now, right? But most people won't, but I just wanted to let you know that. 
And that's really it, guys. It's not complicated. It's more about how you say it, just like I've gone through with everything else. It's more about how you say it and how you deliver it rather than what you actually say. So go through, ask these qualifying questions, book the call. It is important to assume the close, assume the call at a certain time. Because if you don't, it's going to give them room to, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll uh, reschedule with you another time, Cody. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll email you. I'll, I'll message you, right? They're not going to message you. So book the call on this call. And it's also important you send them the calendar invite, right? Send them the calendar invite while you're on the call with them and confirm it with them. Hey, John, did you get my calendar invite? Yes, I did. Fantastic. Awesome. Repeat the time back to them. End the call. It's so important and you want to be repeating the time two, three, sometimes even four times just to make sure they will show up. And then obviously you've got the follow-up messages that happen automatically with Calendly if you use Calendly. So that's it, guys. Very, very simple intro call. Uh, about five, 10, 15 minutes. Super short. Uh, just a couple of questions that you can ask them. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.